Eva is a real tribute and celebration of the amazing vocalist Eva Cassidy. She was tragically taken from us um, way too young at the age of 33 from cancer. Eva for me is a real heart piece. I um, was fortunate enough to get to do something so special with someone that was already gone from our world but had left this legacy, this amazing library of music was truly special. So if you've never heard of her and, and come to the shows, I do hope that you will come in not knowing Eva and leave being a fan of Eva's as well as, of course, American Midwest Ballet. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy. Who's that younger dressed in red? Way Must be the children that Moses led. My name is Lauren Caius, and I've worked with Frank for many years. I joined River North in Chicago um, somewhere around. 2003. So I'm very familiar with Frank. I'm very familiar with his work and his process. This is my second time coming back um, to American Midwest Ballet to set a piece. So I'm familiar with some of the dancers in the company and I've had a wonderful time this week kind of rekindling those relationships that I've had made in the past. This is like very um, Frank where he screws and pulls the elbow back. My name is Haley Meyer. I'm originally from upstate New York. I started working with Frank back in 2011. I joined the company um, River North Dance Chicago in 2011 and I danced with them for five seasons until 2015. So Eva Cassidy, I believe it was commissioned in 2013 when it's a four part piece, four different sections, about 20 minutes in length um, and it's all to Eva Cassidy music. And if you're unfamiliar with Eva Cassidy, she was this singer that did a lot of covers. So all of the music in this um, work will be very familiar. It's very lyrical, like it's very emotional. It's the perfect mix of what Frank choreographs. He likes to showcase a lot of emotion and really connect with the audience on that level. There's a very strong through line of the songs that Eva Cassidy is singing. Lots of emotion, and lots of story being developed in those songs. And so you'll be able to see that through the, through the choreography and you'll also be able to feel something personal. You'll be able to feel and gravitate toward an emotion and maybe a, a story in your life that you can relate to what the dancers are, are doing on stage and relate certainly to the music that's being sung. And also they're gonna see the Frank Chavez uh, style. It's a little nerve-wracking coming in because for me I had never worked with a company before so I was not familiar with the dancers, you know, didn't really know how they worked, what their style was, what other pieces they've done in the past. Um, so coming in you're just sort of, you have to just go with the flow and it's been really nice working with these dancers because they they are super involved in the process. They're present in the process right now. Even though it's not a process of a brand new piece and a creation of one, they're very receptive to all of the cues and the correction. It has been an adjustment for the dancers getting out of their more classical ballet repertoire and moving into more of a jazz style, which is very much what Frank's choreography is rooted in. But over the week, it has been really wonderful to see some of the dancers really blossom and adapt that choreography into their bodies and be willing to change some of their thoughts about their, their dancing to adapt to the choreography. The days are long and the partnering is intricate and the musicality is challenging to pick up, but they, they're like, they're in it to win it. So it's been, it's been great working with them.